Oh man, you know, A, B, ancient baloney, uh, a lot of boogers. What up, Fight World? It's your boy E going back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Now, the can man, anybody can get it. Adrian Broner, he was at the Showtime Mayweather Promotions card. Great fights, by the way. That really kicked off the boxing season, if you will. That was the first major, major card that we've had in January. Showtime has another great card at the end of this month. Then Broner's coming to fight against a pressure fighter that he sparred with in Adrian Granados. I got a great write-up on my website and it's a little bit of a, a background for you guys that may not know too much about Granados and I think it's a better fight than some people are giving credit. Now in between the James DeGale and the Tank Davis fight Showtime had Broner and they were speaking with Brian Custer or whatever and Broner was promising a new him. He says I'm more mature now things have changed they they hint, they didn't say suicide but basically the host hinted to the weird social media meltdown where he posted the gun and people thought he was going to harm himself and broner is just saying that's that stuff's past me now and this is the new me i'm reinvigorated and it looked like he was having a good time at the barclays he was taking a lot of pictures there's footage on his page with him and kel brook he's like oh kel i've seen him joking with eddie hearn he was with big bro floyd mayweather Mayweather's also helping to promote the Adrian Broner versus Granados fight, even though it's an about billions promotion. He's probably just stepping to Big Bro, who maybe has a little bit more experience with promoting cards. Plus, obviously, Broner's in the fight in the main event, so he has to focus on, on training and stuff like that. And I actually got to figure out where to apply for that particular fight. My writer lives in the area, and that's a fight that we want to cover. And it's not on the typical sites. But um, that fight's coming up, Bruno Granados. And that's actually a better card than people are talking. I'm surprised. Lamont Peterson's on the card. You have Charlo defending, not the one that just knocked out Julian J. Rock Williams, Jermel. He's defending his belt, WBC belt, I believe, against Charles Hatley. So that's like a Texas versus Texas type of deal. And Hatley, he hopped on the ring in one of the Charlo brothers' fights against Austin Trout. And that's some bad blood there. So it's, it's a good card, a really good card. If you guys are in the Cincinnati area, then you should definitely check that one out. And I'm just good and, and looking forward to some good boxing. As far as Broner, I don't know. I mean, he said this before, like, I'm focused, I'm me, I'm, I'm done with this, I'm not partying. And then, you know what I mean, kind of relapses. So I'm not going to say yay or nay because I can't really put my, I don't know him personally like that. So I can't put my, my I can't vouch for somebody that has showed kind of behavior where they have relapses and stuff like that. But my thoughts, I just hope he's serious this time. And I hope that he's getting it together because he's a very good fighter. He's, he has a skill set that some people wish they had speed, hand speed. He has um, needs to work on the footwork a bit about how to evade guys like Maidana, you know what I mean, that are bigger than you. Because that's, that's one of the things his big bro, Floyd Mayweather, does exceptionally well is... You notice even the bigger guys that Floyd's faced, the Oscar De La Hoyas, the Cotos, the Canelos, and Corrales's, he knows how to, like when Cotos trying to back him up on the ropes, he knows how to fight off the ropes and stuff like that. And he just, his defense is just on point. It's very sharp. So it, it's hard. But like, let's say Broner fought Cotto at 155. He would have trouble with that Cotto that showed up versus Mayweather was fighting Broner just because that flat-footed stance. You know what I'm saying? So Broner just working on some things. But overall, he's, he's a great fighter. He's good for the sport of boxing. He said, Pacquiao needs me more than I need Pacquiao right now, which that's definitely debatable <laughs> because anytime Broner does really anything, it's good headlines. You know what I mean? Whether it's bad publicity or not, it, it's, it usually makes headlines. And people seem to be kind of getting fed up with Pacquiao, if you will. And he, they're talking about Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn. Broner can't even fight a Gavin Reese. Imagine if Broner fought Jeff Horn. You know what I'm saying? People wouldn't be giving Broner a bunch of P's and credit for fighting Jeff Horn because they'd be like, who is this Australian? We never even heard of him. You know what I mean? But Broner has a good test. He squashed the beef with ESPN's Dan Rayfield, and he posted it on his page saying, hey, the beef is squashed. He, he linked up with him, I guess, at the Barclays, at the DeGale fight, the Jack DeGale fight. And he said that's done. So maybe that's a sign of his maturity. I remember I did a video about that particular beef. Broner, I don't know. What, I don't even remember at this point. It was last year, but I don't remember what caused it. But Broner was like, that fat boy, that fat ass, he overweight. And he was like, about biscuit. He was just going in about Rayfield's weight off of something that Rayfield said. And 
in the process, I did a video about it and I didn't, I didn't even pick a side. I was just reading what they said and stuff. And all of a sudden somebody retweeted something and it was like, you cannot see the tweet. And it's Dan Rayfield. He, he blocked me. Like, I thought that was kind of weird that why you blocked me? Broner's the one that said it. Like, I never had no conversation with him a day in my life. I never tweet him. I never go back and forth. I don't, I don't know. Maybe he felt the type of way like you shouldn't have made the video. I thought it was funny. And I mean, I'm, I'm a straight up and down person. It is funny what Broner was doing. You know what I mean? Or, or what he was saying, what they were saying back and forth to each other. I thought it was funny. So I'm going to keep it a buck and, and do a video about it. But, you know, it's the industry. People feel a type of way. But Broner did squash his beef with ESPN's Dan Rayfield. Let me know if you believe him. Is he going to be reinvigorated and fully focused like he's claiming? He, he sounds sincere, but I don't know. Sometimes we see that up and down, almost bipolar behavior with Broner. It's like the game. If you guys are into hip hop, you'll know like the, the game. I don't give a fuck on Pyro Cedar Block. It was Bracken. He's like, man, fuck 50 Cent. Chit you, chit you not. And he was saying all this stuff about fuck 50 and G Unit. And then he was like, man, I'm going to squash the beef. And then he'll be like, man, I ain't squash the shit. Fuck him. And then he'll be like, I'm going to do a song with it. You know what I'm saying? It was just a lot of back and forth. If you really followed that that beef he was doing mixtape disses against them and song then he said he would work with them and maybe we can reunite and he seemed like he wanted to make peace then he switched back you know what i'm saying so it was a lot of back and forth broner kind of does that with his ups and downs but we will see hopefully he gets it together he's a good fighter drop it in the comment section make sure you share the video like the video as always hey comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.